it's not so much what went wrong, it's the position we found ourselves in. We were in third position and this is a by-election. And you know, the collapse of the Tory vote here. Well, there's three things that happen in by-elections. Governing parties tend not to win and haven't won in 30 years. Opposition parties tend to do really well. And parties in third position always get squeezed. And we've seen all those three things tonight. And I think that's the circumstances in which we found ourselves. Uh, what does this do for your own political career? You know, what, what happens now? Well, I, you know, I don't think tonight's tonight to reflect on that or make decisions on that. Um, you know, maybe I didn't do enough to persuade voters, but that's, you know, that's a matter to look into. But, you know, I think it is a typical by-election result. Um, and I think that's the context in which this result's going to be read. Did you get the support from the National Party? Absolutely. And I, I made this point before. You know, David Cameron broke with convention to come here and campaign. We've had lots of cabinet members here, we've had um, lots of MPs, we, run a, we ran a very good campaign. I'm very proud of the campaign we ran. There seems to be a total collapse in the Asian areas. I mean, you would think was a, as an Asian candidate standing uh, in this election, you would have been able to get the Asian vote. What, what seems to have gone wrong there compared well, to what, what, what I, you I, got I, the Asian vote yeah. in, in the general election? Well, I, I got a good vote in the general election. I don't think Asian people vote on ethnic or racial lines and um, are more sophisticated. You would be able to inspire uh, your fellow uh, members of your own community? No, I, I think the issues that affect the Asian people, Asian community, are the same that affect other communities. And I don't see why electoral rules that apply there wouldn't apply elsewhere.